Today, our technician is going to install a harmonic balancer on a 6.2 liter engine. Before he gets into this job, let's review the three reasons most harmonic balancers get replaced. The first reason is due to a leak in the front crankshaft seal. The balancer has a smooth machined surface that the front crank seal rides on. The seal is spring-loaded and allows crank rotation while keeping the oil in the crankcase where it belongs. With time, wear, and dirt intake, the seal may begin to leak. It will almost always cause a groove to be worn in the machined area of the balancer, so both the balancer and the seal will need to be replaced to repair the leak. The second reason is due to exposure to oil or other contaminants. This causes the rubber within the balancer to deteriorate over time, eventually leading to unexplained vibration, especially at idle and high speeds. Another indication that the rubber is breaking down is a wobbly outer ring causing belt chirp at idle. The third reason is because a vehicle owner has invested in an engine rebuild. A new engine should always get a fresh balancer. Now, let's dive into this installation. Please note that it may be necessary to drain and remove the radiator to gain access to the balancer. Remove any pulleys bolted to the balancer. This balancer has the pulley integrated right into the assembly, but some have pulleys that are bolted on. Use an impact wrench to remove the large bolt in the center of the balancer. Once the large bolt is removed, you're ready to remove the balancer. Never attempt to pry the balancer off. It will not come off this way and can potentially damage adjacent components. Instead, use a balancer removal puller. This tool is readily available at your local auto parts store or online. Install the mandrel in the center bolt hole and the three puller legs. Tighten the center mandrel bolt slowly and the balancer will come off. You'll want to be careful since it's heavy. Remove the old crank seal as it's best practice to use a new one, even if it's not leaking, and then install it. Now it's time to prep and install the new balancer, Deco part number PB1190N. Grease the sealing surface of the balancer and then place it on the crank snout. Now use the installer part of the tool and place a large screw in the center bolt hole. Then put a spacer and nut over the screw. Hold the screw with one wrench while using a second to tighten the washer and walk the balancer on. Be sure to fully seat the balancer until it bottoms out. Never hammer a balancer on or use the crank bolt. Both methods are incorrect and will result in damage to the threads, balancer, and thrust bearing in the engine. Once the balancer is fully seated, install the bolt and torque to OE specifications. Reinstall the pulleys and belts and you are finished.